guys, welcome to another episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are talking about Hedy Lamarr. Now, Hedy Lamarr is a prime example of what you would call a beauty with brains. She was an actress and inventor in the first half of the 20th century. So she started acting in the early 30s when she filmed a very controversial erotic scene in the movie Ecstasy, which is pretty much the only thing she was known for for quite a while. But after she fled from her very unpleasant husband who allegedly had close ties with Mussolini and Hitler. She fled to France and then she was discovered by the head of MGM and got offered a Hollywood contract after which she became a very famous film star and not only for the one erotic scene that she did. So because she was so extremely beautiful people absolutely loved her and she got quite a few film roles and was a very successful actress in the 30s and 40s. So like I mentioned she was also an inventor and at the beginning of World War II she developed spread spectrum and frequency hopping technologies that were very helpful at the time but the technology was later used to develop Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so pretty much we're benefiting from her inventions even nowadays. So Hedy Lamarr had quite a typical 30s and 40s look, so I'm going to try and recreate her iconic look today. So let's begin with the makeup. I'm going to start, as always, with a base of foundation and concealer to create a completely clear canvas to start with. When I've blended everything out perfectly, I'm going over with a layer of translucent powder to mattify everything. A matte face was definitely the way to go back then. So Hedy has pretty thin eyebrows. They're not 30s thin, like not the most extreme thin eyebrows that there are, but they are pretty heavily plucked. So I'm going to try and simulate that by combing my eyebrows to be the smallest they can be, or at least the thinnest, and then filling in just the center with a very dark eyeshadow color. So I'm just taking a mix of brown and black to just fill in the center of my eyebrows and then combing them into that thin shape once again. And this is going to give the thinnest shape my eyebrows could naturally be without me actually plucking them more than I do. So then for eyeshadow, I'm just going to cover my entire eyelid in this light kind of skin colored eyeshadow just to again provide a even and matte base for my eyelids. And then I'm going to take some black eyeshadow on an angled eyeliner brush and draw on some eyeliner. And I looked at a lot of her pictures and I think her wings are made with eyeshadow. Could be wrong, it's very hard to see, but I'm gonna go for that look because that is the vibe that I get from it. So I'm just dipping my brush into black eyeshadow and creating a winged eyeliner. And don't be afraid to make this wing go out quite far. And just apply a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. Now Hedy has some remarkable eyelashes. They are very long and very beautiful. And I'm not sure if they are her own lashes or some false eyelashes. I am definitely going to simulate the look using some false eyelashes because my eyelashes are nowhere near as long as hers. So I'm going to apply this set. And when the glue has dried on my top lashes, I'm going to take an eyelash curler and just curl these top lashes because hers are definitely curled. I can definitely tell that because her eyelashes just point straight upwards. And then I'm going to apply some pink blush and I'm just going to apply this very lightly pretty much all over my cheeks in a very natural shape. So her lips, like her eyebrows, are again something a little bit between the style of the 30s and the style of the 40s. So let's say it's 30s with a more natural twist. So I'm going to kind of draw on my lip shape like hers. So that means I'm going to draw my top lip a little bit wider than my bottom lip. And I'm just using a red lip liner for this. When I've done that, I'm going to also line my bottom lip just naturally as my own lip. And then I'm going to fill in my lips with this red lip liner completely. And then the last thing I'm going to do is going over with a slightly shiny red lipstick. And there's the makeup done. So moving on to hair, I'm going to curl it. So as always, I'm going to start by spraying my hair with some heat protectant. And I have divided my hair into a very tight, very um, kind of deep middle parting. It's going all the way back to my crown. That is how she wears her hair. So when my hair is all ready to be curled, I'm going to separate out just a layer on the bottom because I'm going to work from the bottom up and start by curling that hair. I'm using a very small curling iron but I'm taking quite um, kind of medium sections I'd say so that these curls will turn out quite small so that I will like, be able to brush them out and get some nice kind of Hollywood curls like I have now. So I'm just going to curl my entire head of hair by taking small sections at a time and then leaving this a couple of minutes to cool down. So when everything has cooled down I'm going to take a fluffy brush and brush everything out 
to really fluff up these curls and give my hair lots of volume. So Hedy's hair is always quite flat on top because she has this um, kind of male parting and then in front there seem to be two pieces that are pinned back. I don't know if they are curled back or pinned back but um, I'm going to pin mine so that I'm sure that it stays that way. But this is really her signature hairstyle. She's wearing this in almost all the pictures that I saw of her. So definitely do this if you're trying to imitate her look. And for the rest of my hair, I'm just going to gather the longest length of my hair and pin that into the nape of my neck to kind of simulate a bob-like style, a very long curly bob style. And there is your Hedy Lamar look done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more Beauty Beacons videos. If you have any suggestions or requests for people, historical beauty icons that you would like me to recreate in this series, please leave them in the comments below and I will browse through and pick how to do next week. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!